Hello and welcome aboard the Baltic 52 Coco. She's hull number four and hails from 1990. In her current ownership for some 18 years, she's been very much a cherished member of the family. Very classic yacht in terms of her styling, as you can see, of a sort of the performance cruising genre. Although not original, the Coco underwent a significant refit during 2012, which saw a huge level of updating throughout the yacht. Hull paint, deck paint, new teak, painting of the mast, new sails, new engine, and lots of other system updates throughout the yacht. The deck day out here we're seeing you've got electric winches on main halyard, on main sheet, secondary winches and the primaries are manual. You'll notice the access there from the aft cockpit down into the aft cabin. It will be in G's. The teak decking as well replaced in 2012. Huge storage in lazarettes, both port and starboard, in the cockpit here. Spray hoods on both aft cockpit and centre cockpit. And again, here's the access to the aft cabin. It has a washboard and there are removable steps as well. The centre cockpit with table primary winches. As I mentioned, the uh, halyard winch uh, is also electric. The yacht boasts a sail inventory from 2013 up to 2016 were the most recent additions to that. Nice clear decks. Reckman furling on the front and as you would expect with a serious cruising yacht, a twin bow roller. The windlass is actually set aft to keep the chain in the centre of the boat so the chain track runs along the foredeck and actually it's, it's, the chain locker is just forward of the mast base. Rod rigging again 2012. stepping below decks. So the customary Baltic interior, lots of nice angles, beautiful veneers and beautifully executed throughout. It's a very 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 stylish yacht. Nav station, well specced throughout. She's a 24 volt primary service system with 12 volt for instruments which is serviced on the engine via a larger uh, alternator. One concession to modernity there with a flat screen television, keel step mast, and lots of storage and shelving throughout. A nice bright airy interior. Drop leaf table, and fixed seating in the saloon. cabin that would be on every owner's wish list is the sort of workshop, which again this gives direct access to the engine room as well. The main day heads. It's clean mold GRP throughout. Steps and again access to the uh, engine room as well from the front. Linear galley moving aft, twin sinks, 
lots of refrigeration. Stainless stove. Microwave and extractor. Twin stainless sinks, uh, fresh and salt foot pumps there on the cabin sole also. What's nice for both of this era is a centre line double berth in the back. Again, you can just see the steps. There are removable steps which will pop up into the uh, aft cockpit. You've got washboards and hatch there, which is nice. It just gives you access to that aft cockpit. Centre line seating either side and ample stowage, hanging stowage other side. Owner's heads. joinery throughout, as you can see, is in, in pretty fantastic condition. One of the nice aspects of this particular yacht is the, is the accommodation. We've got twin berths on starboard, and the top, which, the top berth, which will fold up out of the way if you want to you need the space. Port, we have a devil with reading lights. And then forward again, another twin cabin with upper and lower. And a huge forward hatch. You can see the white voice bit there just to starboard on the fore peak as well. back to the saloon. And there we have it, the Baltic 52 Coco.